to OCD Recovery's YouTube channel. I wanted to talk a little bit today about just beauty. Um, this is something I spoke to with a few people recently and I think it's a part of the recovery journey that people don't do as much um, because they're they kind of do it a little bit and then don't like see an immediate benefit from it and stop doing it. Um, so I just wanted to say a little bit about how I feel about disputing um, as being a part of the recovery journey. And in my eyes, it is a really, really crucial part of the recovery journey. Um, I There's other things, of course, like exposures were needed um, and the one that I'm always ranting about in the WhatsApp groups, and it's just the thing I talk about the most is healthy lifestyle structure. Um, but disputing and changing those irrational beliefs is such an important part of recovery. And yeah, as I say, a part that I don't think is kind of addicted to as much sometimes because people are expecting a bit of a, an immediate relief from it. Um, so with my experience of disputing over, I would say I probably disputed for about a year. And then after that, like, you know, I, I had breaks of doing it and I had stints where I only did it for like a week at a time. Like I've been very, very on and off, up and down with disputing. Um, but I would say that the kind of looking at both sides of a situation, which is what you do in disputing, definitely helped me become more balanced and kind of bring down those black and white feelings that I was having about every situation, uh, which is what was, of course, causing emotional disturbance because everything was, I was experienced everything in such an extreme, um, rather than seeing you know, both sides, you know, what, yeah, what is the worst that could happen? But also if the worst does happen, how can I deal with that? And how can I come back from that? And I think because of the kind of aim of the exercise, which is to make us think more rationally, we automatically assume that we're going to write it down, look at it and say, oh, I, I can see it now. Like, yeah, I've written down why rationally it's not the worst thing in the whole world. So now I can see why it's not. And, and that definitely wasn't the case for me. And I don't think that's been the case for anyone else. You write it down, you do the disputing exercise and nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. It like, yes, sometimes I would have like, as I was doing disputing, I would have like little perspective shifts at the time. And like, I would think of something while I was disputing that I hadn't thought of before. And then I would think, oh, that's, that's like a really good way of looking at it actually. Like I've had like little breakthrough moments, um, but there were also times where I was writing down my disputing work and I was like having a panic attack because of the things I was writing were triggering me so much to write them down on paper. There were times I was disputing when I just felt absolutely nothing. There were times I was disputing when I felt great. Like it's really important just to make it a con consistent ex exercise, particularly in the beginning stages of recovery and do it regardless of how you're feeling. So if you're feeling, if you're having a day where you're feeling really good, a lot of the time people will put off disputing because they don't want to be triggered again. They don't want to think about their worst case scenario because if they think about that, they, they might feel bad again and that, you know, they, they deserve a day of feeling good. And, that that is how we all feel but at the same time that will then become an avoidance behavior and as soon as you avoid something because you're feeling good you're you're probably not going to feel good for that long because ocd is is it's no it's the fear there again and it, it's going to latch to that um so just keeping it as a consistent throughout your life you know a lot of people also don't don't just be when they're feeling bad oh sorry do dispute when they're feeling bad. That was definitely me. I would definitely think, oh, I, like I've got this in my head. I need to dispute right now to see if I can kind of, because rather than seeing it as an exercise to change beliefs over time, I think a lot of the time people look at it as an exercise to um, like 
rationalize it in the moment. They try and do like radical ra rationalization where you're trying to accept something in the moment. And if you're triggered, you're not, you're not going to accept it at all. There's, there's, there's no way whilst triggered that you can start accepting something in a rational manner. Um, because you're not, you're not in a rational state of mind. You're completely irrational at the point that you're triggered. Um, so also that's another thing that I would say is yes, I say not to dispute when you're triggered, but what I mean by that is not to dispute whilst you're triggered if that's not when you would normally be disputing. So I kind of had set times that I would dispute just because that it, it wasn't me trying to be a perfectionist with it, but that would mean that I wasn't only disputing because of how I was feeling. And it just meant if it was the same time every day, then regardless of how I was feeling at that time, I would do it. Um, because yeah, it's, it's really, it's really common to want to dispute, to try and change how you're feeling and to kind of use it as a compulsion, which is also why, um, you always advise to write it down and not to do it in your head. Because if you start doing it in your head, um, first of all, I mean, I just don't think it's as triggering thinking about it in your head as it is to write it down. Like writing down like your worst fear and not using like shortened words and shortened letters and things like that. You, you know, if, if it's a POCD fear, writing the actual fear out if it's harm, fear, writing the actual fear, but be specific. I would be an awful person if I slip someone's throat, which is what I keep thinking that I'm going to do. Be really, don't just say, I would feel terrible if I harmed someone and I couldn't live with the girl. Like, you're not scared of harming someone. You're, you are scared of a specific scenario a lot of the time. Um, so write out that specific scenario and because that, that alone is triggering, not only writing that out, but also like the anticipation of someone possibly finding that. And so, yeah, that, that's a really, really good exposure. And just set yourself a time to do it and do it at that time, regardless of how you're feeling. Um, because it may be that you want to, it may be that you really don't want to, but just being consistent as with everything in life like consistency is key if you're consistent with things then you can't really go wrong because you build it up over time and those beliefs that don't change in the moment they will start to change over time you know how long have you taken to build up the irrational beliefs that you're currently holding for me i was still suffering with extreme ocd until i was 28, I'm now 29, nearly 30. And it took me 28 years to build up the really irrational beliefs that I was holding. Um, so I don't know how I expected to get rid of those within the case of a month, which is what I, I thought that I could do. Or in the moment, I don't, I don't know how I thought, if I write down my worst case scenario, what I'm scared of, and I rationalize that, maybe it'll go and that's not the case it's taken me so long of building up this fear and even before i knew it was a fear i would have been doing kind of compulsions around it and stuff my entire life so to think that you can get rid of that really quickly is is just really unrealistic irrational you might say <laughs> funnily enough um yeah so Disputing is really, really important. Um, there are webinars hosted on like how to dispute and things, which are really helpful to go to. Or if you're working with any of the coaches one-to-one, -one, um, they can always go through disputing exercises with you, which is a really helpful thing. Or if you're in the WhatsApp groups, you can pop it in there and someone will pop like the disputing sheet in there for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for getting to the end of the video if you have. And uh, if you want to, use any of the uh, OCD recovery coaching services or sign up to any webinars, just pop an email to phil at ocdrecovery.com and I will see you on the next video.